Hello everyone, I'm Nick from nextstepnick.com and today we're going to play a little bit of Rats, Bats and Bones. So, just very quickly, I love this music. That's so eerie, isn't it? It's great. I love the little Castlevania castle in the corner as well and it sounds awful, but you know, do you remember the old Scooby-Doo's from the 90s? That pheromone style <laughs> noise always takes me back to Scooby-Doo. Which makes no sense whatsoever unless you've seen the old Scooby-Doo's, but if you have, welcome. Uh, let's give this a go. New profile. Okay. Um, let's go with the channel name. Might as well. Boom. Happy days. Okay. I think it's got some nice little touches. I like the skulls. I like the music so far. So this is billed as a tower defense style trap game. So let's give it a go. Okay, click the gem to select this level. Okay, I like this as well. I like this background here. Really nice. While traveling on the old road, hooded figures appear, chanting indecipherable phrases while twisted bodies of the recently deceased begin to rise. Ooh, all Halloween and spooky ish. Medium. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. It's a little guy in a bathrobe, look. Play grab. Look, kill this monster to learn its secrets. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Looks like there's quite a lot of variation. Oh, blimey! The the traps look um. Yeah, we're not. I'm not even going to try and read that. There's there's way too much going on there. Oh. Yeah, there is a there is a lot going on. What we'll do is we'll give it a go and we'll see how we get on. Uh, let's try. Start battle. These are your available traps. Click on the ones you would like to use for this level. You can click on a trap again. To unprepare it. Okay then, I think I will. So there we go, we've got our traps, got our scrap and our crystal. Oh, it looks like the crystal is what we're protecting. Okay. Uh, don't, okay. Reorder them, I suppose. Put the expensive one at the bottom. There we go. Nice and OCD. Finish. Click on the trap you wish to build. Uh, barricades, floor spikes, dart traps, and spear traps. Okay. Well, let's use a barrel. I'm guessing they're coming from here. Oh, and that must be their route. So ideally, we kind of want to make their route more complicated. Um, if I do that... There we go. Look at that. We're already a pro. Uh -huh. If I put that there... I guess I've got to block this off as well. Okay. Uh, can I... Turn this around. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, cool. Put this here. Put our little floor traps here. What's that? Dart trap. We'll put that. Yeah. Okay, there we go. We've got a little kill corridor going on. Let's give it a go. Bring them on. I really like the art style. I think. I love this candle thing here as well. Is that the level timer? Okay. I like the art style a lot, actually. Oh, that's kind of grisly. Oh, blimey, yeah. I like this. I think this is quite nice, actually. The music as well is fantastic. I'm really enjoying the music. Uh, let's put another one of these in here. Are they, are they, where are they coming out? Yeah, they're walking diagonally. Should we put it here? Oh, got a rat there as well. I think that's the thing, though, is if you've got good music and you've got a graphical style that suits your gameplay, then you're away. I don't need the best of the best graphics, you know, because I remember a game for like the story, the gameplay loop, the music and the themes. I don't remember it for graphics very often. I mean, I know there are exceptions to that. You could say stuff like Crisis, I guess. I guess I'll put this here. But for the most part, it's more about the actual loop of gameplay and the story. And this is this is quite fun. Seems quite easy at the moment though. This kind of thing really sets my OCD off though. If things get past, it really freaks me out. I'm not that bad with OCD either. I live in filth. But it's one of those things where I, I don't like it where there's like a round number and then something messes that up. I don't I don't like that. So at the moment it looks like we're quite okay though. We've got our waves here. Our scrap is just rising up over there, so that's good. Let's fast forward this a bit. I don't know why, but it makes me anxious. The idea of them getting past makes me very anxious. So this could be a very short, depressing stream. Okay. Oh, we've got a little skeleton. 
Uh, oh, hey, we're doing quite well with this actually. I'm quite happy with that. Oh, ah, I knew those. I knew that spike trap was a good idea. That wall trap. We're doing quite well actually. But like with this, it's quite, it's quite satisfying. Seems quite easy at the moment, but obviously first level. But it's quite a satisfying gameplay loop at the moment. I'm quite enjoying it. I like. Oh, getting a bit busier. Is this okay? Okay, we're doing quite well. I did well with those barrels, I think. I'm just showing my skill as an elite player of this. But it's nice. I do like it. I think the art style is quite sweet. I've, oh god. Uh. Oh no. No. Hooray! I like the art style on the skeletons and the other monsters. I like the way they're sort of dying there. Oh, can we? Oh, you can upgrade. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh! Oh, that was horrible. Oh, what's that? Got a little, little zombie ghoul thing. Oh, I can't believe that. That's really frustrated me. I knew that would happen. I knew that would happen. It generally upsets me a bit that that has happened. Oh no. I just wanted to have fun and now I'm depressed. It really is a holiday like Halloween, isn't it? It's meant to be happy and exciting, but I've ended up depressed. It's just like Christmas, but with far more bats. I like it though. It's a nice little game. The music, I think, is really nice. Oddly gory as well. Ooh. There, that's some, that's some fantastic music. That will really bring me back to a game if the musical score is good. Okay, we are victorious. Oh, that's that's generally upset me. It's like the approval of a father figure, you know. Just, it's they're not angry; they're just disappointed. Oh no, I'm generally quite upset by that. Oh god, just see me break down on the stream. Right, uh, ruins. You reach the old ruins of a long forgotten town. The night is soon filled with the shadows of deceased, diseased vermin and the billowing robes of cut. Do your robes up, man. I don't want to see that. Just things billowing all over the place. Your robes open and you've got your little doodah hanging out. Right, uh, spend silver at the workshop to unlock new traps and abilities. Okay. All oh, right. okay, there's a few. Oh, there's multiple tabs. Oh, okay. Oh, blimey, yeah, it gets quite complicated. Uh, what have we got? We could put a turret on our barricade. That could be cool. Tar traps, bear traps. Uh, there's our spike traps, mace traps. Okay, these all look pretty good so far. A blunderbuss sounds cool. Uh, flame traps, I quite like a flame trap. But then I would quite like a, an acid sprayer. Yeah, I'd quite like that. Uh, mystical lantern. Burnt light makes. Vulnerable. 25% more damage. That sounds pretty good. Should we go with that? Let's give it a go. Okay. So we've got bats now. Kill this monster to learn its secret. Bats don't have any secrets. They're bats. I'm not going to lie. If it just says it's a bat, that's pretty much the only secret it can have, to be honest. They're not known for their secrets. Bats. Okay, so there's our new thing. Let's add that. This is a bit more complicated, isn't it? Uh huh. Can we. If I put this here. No, if I put that there. There we go, that's a bit longer, isn't it? Uh, there we go, look at that. Fantastic. We're the best at this game. Let's do a little. little kill thing here, kill corridor here, I suppose. Put our lantern over here. Uh, we'll put a dart trap there, maybe. Okay, that looks pretty good as a start. Let's do it. I get generally quite anxious, though. I'm, al I'm already worried. I'm already worried. It reminds me a lot, the music from this, of um, Moxie's Underdome from the first Borderlands. But I quite like it. It's, it's one of those games, really, I think. The tower defense style of game. 
where uh, it reminds me of my childhood anyway. Like, it reminds me of, as bad as it sounds, I would have been smarter if I wasn't doing stuff like this during my IT lessons. But this is what you did, wasn't it? You found miniclip.com or something like that. And you basically playing games like this. I think the thing is, though, is they're successful for a reason. It's a very therapeutic gameplay loop. I very much enjoy... You know, the feeling of being rewarded for accomplishing something. It's quite nice to just focus on... I think there's something... I think what it is, is there's something therapeutic about building this up. About seeing it go from nothing to being this very intricate, successful machine. I think that's a human thing. But just seeing something working is quite satisfying. So I'm quite, I'm quite enjoying it. I am quite enjoying it. Uh, I'm going to put a... I don't trust this. I'm going to put a trap there. But it's nice. I do, I do. I am enjoying it quite a lot, actually. I'm surprised at how much I am enjoying it. Yeah, there we go. Making that trip a bit longer, isn't it? Yeah, I'm. I'm really enjoying it. I like the art style. I think it's very sweet in regard to the like character models as well. Despite the large pool of blood that is slowly forming around the start. But it's um, it's nice. It's generally quite nice. I quite like it. It's very satisfying. It's very yeah. I I just like the idea of building up this very intricate murder corridor. I'm like H H Holmes, aren't I? Really? It's never good because that's the kind of thing that will get played back to me in a prison cell, isn't it? That I've said something like that. That I've gone on record as saying that. I didn't mean it about murdering people. Honest. Now animals, bats, skeletons. That's different. Not even animals, to be honest. Not even bats. Skeletons. Skeletons, zombies and other things, that's fine, isn't it? I think you have free reign on that. I don't really like hurting things, to be honest. I say that as I shoot a cultist. But it's yeah, it's it's very satisfying. I'm enjoying it. And for the price as well, it's very reasonable. The price at the moment is just under five pounds, I think. That's very successful. I'm happy at how successful this is. Now, this makes me feel good about myself about the first round, you see. I earn the approval of my skull father at the end. Oh. And then I'll ask him why he didn't come to Christmas dinner and why my presents always look like they were bought last minute in Asda. And if I'm lucky, he'll talk to me and actually answer. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's nice. I'm enjoying this, actually. Yeah, look at that. It's very satisfying. Yes, the approval. The skull-faced approval. And the weird, what look like diamond candy corns, but are actually silver. Oh, okay, we've got a choice. Uh, tunnels or outskirts? The direct tunnels used by smugglers and now filled with half eaten corpses. Lovely. Or outskirts. Broken bricks and dead bodies let to the ground. The villagers didn't stand a chance against a horde of undead. I could have made these traps before this happened, couldn't I, really? Um, let's do medium. Oh, there's an endless mode as well. That's. I feel like endless would be satisfying, but I'd want to get more stuff. Oh. Ghosts. Uh... Hmm, I can afford something. What is our lantern? Oh! Reduce the time ghost will stay ethereal within range. Well, there you go. Let's get that. That'll work, won't it? It's a bit of luck. I don't know what that does. I'm assuming... I don't know if they can take normal damage, can they? They're ghosts. But we'll see what happens. If I can, oh yeah, I need to quick finish here. If I do that, and then block this doorway off, there we go. That's quite good, isn't it? That's quite a good range of locations they have to go down. Put that there. Put this here. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty. I'm pretty satisfied with that so far. That looks pretty brutal. 
I don't know why the monsters let me in before they came along. It sounds like they've already been here. And they've left their massive, extravagant looking diamond behind. Which is always a silly move by a monster, really, to leave your loot behind. Maybe they're just really forgetful. I'm going to put this here, just in case. Yeah, it's a nice it's a nice little loop. I like the water effects up here. The pheromin again, that pheromin style sound. It just reminds me of Scooby Doo. I don't know why the pheromin is so spooky sounding. Maybe it's because it's that whaley noise? I don't know why pheromins are strange sounding. No more like more strange sounding than any other instrument, that is. Can I Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Then they have to come round as well. Genius. Because I can put my spike trap in here, you see. Have a secondary. Oh, yeah, we can shoot through those barrels. That was the thing I was worried about. I thought I'd messed that up, but I didn't want to say anything in case people laughed. But this is going quite well. Uh huh. Right. Let's put this here, like that. There we go. Look at that. We're doing quite well so far. I don't like fast forwarding, though, because it makes me anxious. Oh, we haven't put any of our lanterns down. Let's do that. Uh, oh. Lots of little zombie fellas. They look sad when they die. I generally feel quite bad for that. But, you know, you will leave your comically oversized diamonds in my mines after killing my villagers. I assume they're my villagers. I don't know what relation I am to them. I wasn't there when they died, so... That was close. I think we need to be a bit more intricate with our trap making. I don't know why we can't just put two barrels here and go home, to be honest. If they can't get past the boxes, two bo Oh, here we go. We've got a ghost. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that works out quite nicely, actually. Never mind. It looks like they go invincible for a bit. Right, okay. If I put this here, if they get past that... That's quite good, actually. I'm quite proud of that. It looks like I've planned it. I haven't. It was pure dumb luck, but still. This is the bit of the ghost shows with Derek Akora that they don't see. Where he stays behind at the end and fires spears into these mock ghosts. Oh no. Uh, 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 can we, can we, yep, right, come on, come on, come through for me. Yes, yes, happy days. Uh, can we do that to force them to go? I don't, oh, I don't like it, I don't like it. It's getting quite close. I don't like it when they get through. It makes me anxious. I'm generally quite anxious now. Uh, if we put a spike trap here, maybe we can catch any stragglers. Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, we've made an effective murder corridor. I don't like that he's gotten through. Uh... No, come on, come on. No, no, no. Oh, God. It's generally so upsetting. I don't know why. It's generally quite upsetting. Oh. Oh, no. Imagine if they made that into a horror film. There's no premise other than just, you know, they take a number you like and wreck it a bit. Just round it down by one. Don't round it, actually. Just bring it down. That's right, isn't it? There we go. We've got... See, that's quite a nice, effective murder corridor I think we've got going on. See, Endless would make me sad, because I feel like it would get to the level where I couldn't stop them, and it would just make me far too anxious. Okay. Yeah, that's good. It's not 20, though, is it? So, you always judged me. Right. What else can we get? Six. Can we get something good for that? Uh, mm, we could upgrade our stuff. I suppose. Mace traps, projectiles, 
frost trap, slow them down for three seconds. See, that sounds good. Should we get that? I think slowing them down is always good. Yeah, okay. Just because if they go too fast, you're going to have problems. Uh, right. Let's make this into a nice long route. If we block here and here and here, that's quite a nice route, isn't it? And I can I can block here as well. Yeah, that's quite a good route, I think. There we go. No, no, don't go that way. There we go. Yeah, that's not bad. We'll put our spike traps in and our spear traps and uh, one of these. If we put our frost trap here, that's not bad, is it? Uh huh. Okay. It's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst. Let's do it. Okay, the frost traps seem very effective. Oh no. It's already gone wrong. It's already gone wrong. Right, can we get him with this? Uh, where's he going to go? Is he going over here? No, no! Oh god. It's already, go oh, it's already gone wrong. I think the frost traps are a good way to go though. Now, how are we going to... I think we need another one of these spear traps. I like the spear traps. I think they're really effective. Okay, yeah. I think that's the thing, though, is this has a nice, enjoyable gameplay loop. It's fun. It's upsetting, but it's fun. And that's all you really need. I don't think you need anything too complicated for something like this. If it's a fun title like this, where you can just have a bit of fun with it and get into a nice, enjoyable gameplay loop. I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. Really nice, really enjoying this. Not There we go, yeah, that made me upset. I nearly panicked there. But no, it's um, you don't need it to be overly complex if the gameplay loop is fun, if you know what I mean. It doesn't need to be... You know, the latest graphics and things like that. If you've made something that makes sense canonically inside your world, what's the problem? It's it's fun, it's enjoyable, I like it. It's a nice, enjoyable game. Really enjoying it, actually. More than I thought I would, to be honest. Oh, that noise now will haunt me in my dreams. Oh no. Uh what do we do? What do we do? We need a we need a spear trap or something. Right. Right oh no. Uh huh. There we go, we'll put it here. What are you doing to me, rats? What are you doing to me? My traps aren't going off. I keep going for the speed button because I think it's going too fast. This is what I mean. I'm already a bit unnerved now. I don't like it. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's going okay. I'm not upset. You're upset. Oh, no. They got, No, what's going on here? Oh, I wasn't prepared. It's all going wrong now. Right, put that in there. We'll get them. We can do this. I'm not prepared. I'm generally getting quite flustered now. This isn't nice. I'm more scared by this than I have been by horror games recently. I hope everyone's looking forward to Halloween as well, by the way. I really like Halloween. I think it's quite nice to have a time of year where you can stock up on your skull supply and no one thinks you're weird. Do you know what I mean? I like macabre stuff. I like skulls and...
things like that, just because they they just seem fun. So it's quite nice to have a time of year where you can buy like candlesticks that look like femurs and nobody judges you. You know, you walk into Asda's and you can buy like a mouse mat, a skull shaped decanter and a packet of raisins and then you're good to go. And I think that's quite nice. Oh, I can't, I can't handle it. I can't handle the stress. Uh... Right, this is this has escalated quite quickly. I feel like the frost trap was the wrong thing at the wrong time. Oh no. Oh, we're on the last wave though. We could we could make it. No, we can't. No, we can't. It must be over. It must be over now. Oh, right. Uh, that is that is quite upset me. Let's try one last go. We're going to end on a high. We'll complete this, and then we will end on a high note. Let's try and make them go a different route, shall we? If we see, I feel like these gravestones. You can't build on these gravestones, and that's a problem. If we do that, but then make it. I'm trying to think of how to make this a little bit more difficult for them. If we put this here, no. If we put that there, they've got. There we go. That looks a little bit harder, doesn't it? Uh huh. Put our torch in here. Put our spear trap in here. Put another one in here, say. See, I feel like if they go off too soon. You don't get the full effect. Let's try that. We haven't got any floor spikes though, so maybe that will come back and haunt us, but... Mm, it's not bad. Let's put some floor spikes in here. I like the floor spikes. I think the floor spikes are a good go-to. And I think this is quite nice. I like the way you can change and adapt the patterns a little bit, make it a little bit harder for them. There we go, that's quite nice, as far as kill corridors go. A nice spike trap here would be nice, a nice shooting trap here. See, I'm planning now, I'm thinking methodically. And you can't you can't beat me if I'm thinking methodically. You can, and you probably will, but the point is, you shouldn't be able to. There we go, look at that. That's quite nice, isn't it? And now we've got, we don't have to worry about the bat problem now, you see. Which is something I didn't think I'd have to say today. Yeah, it's a nice little game though. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really having a good time with it, actually. It's um, for the price as well. It's on Steam at the moment for £5. Which isn't bad. And this is the second small-time indie title I've played recently that I've really had a good time with. I played... Uh, there's a video of Spirits Abyss up at the moment by Anthony Case really enjoyed that too that was that was a lot of fun um, really really good game actually really great level design good characters lots of replayability really good support as well he's actually added things in which I'm really happy about so I've been playing it in my spare time really good I'd recommend it and likewise with this if you want a functional fun gameplay loop I mean I wouldn't say it's revolutionary because of course it's not but for something like this I I'm enjoying it it's fun I, I like the fact that there's so much detail. I really like this rain effect that's going on here. And just the movement of the characters and the music. It's it's very satisfying, I think, to see something work well. When it's not reducing me to a quivering mass when it all goes wrong. It's quite satisfying. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, let's put this here. Um, let's put this here. That should get him. Hooray! Right. Uh, how are we going to do this? Could we we need another little trap, really, or something, don't we? I'd suggest spikes, because I like the spikes. Let's put this in here. Just make them have a longer journey, and that will give them more chance to get shot by the arrows. Which, again, is not something I hope to say today. 
But, you know, pleasantly surprised. Uh, let's put in another spike trap round here. Just to bottleneck them a bit. A nice spear trap here would be good as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think it's going better than it did before. And then that's not saying much, because I failed almost immediately last time. Oh, that made me nervous. Um, there we go. The bat problem isn't a problem this time. Ah, I thought it through, you see. And I'm thinking, I'm already thinking, my mind is whirring with new ideas. Look, I've got me... Me, di me uh, dart trap up there. I nearly said me dice trap, which would be completely different. Got D&D &D on the brain at the moment. I never got to play D&D &D much as a kid. Uh, I never really had people round me that liked playing those kind of games. So I've recently sort of been able to play with some friends, and it's been so good. I've always wanted to play, so it's been so nice getting into playing. Really, really fun. But I think half the problem was when I was younger, it was very hard to find people who wanted to play with you, especially with stuff like D&D. You, you kind of need a stable group of people that are going to... Oh, I've messed that up, actually. I'll get rid of that. Oh, I can upgrade them. I'm guessing if that's you buy the upgrades. But no, um, it was quite hard to find people to play those kind of games with. So it's quite nice now to be in a position where you can play those kind of games. It's um, really fun, actually. I think that's part of the reason why I think stuff like this is successful, because it's a case of you don't need, like I say, really insane graphical assets. I'm getting nervous. This is getting too close to home. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 oh, no, no, oh, no. So close as well. So close. Right. I'm actually getting quite into this. We'll do one more. Oh, blimey. Um, the village? Abandoned the reeking of death? Or stone circle? Is that... I'm guessing the red things are entry points. Two entry points. Who's that? A warlock. I'm guessing he does spells. I s hmm. don't know. I saw an item, I think, that did something to do with that. Didn't I? No. Mystical. No, I must have seen this. Is this slowing? Powerful strikes. Oh, here we go. Interrupts any monster attempting to cast magical spells by striking them with holy powers. Okay, I'll give it a go. We're preparing. Let's give it a go. But yeah, I, I always liked those kind of games. I think the imagination is an amazing thing. So if you leave things up to people's imaginations, they're always better. Like with this, I can imagine... Oh god, I don't like this. Uh, right, I'm... Oh, I'm not keen. How are we going to do this? If I... I can't put a barrel there for some reason. If I put it there, that will force them round. And then if I block off here block off here. They've got a longer journey that way. And if I block them off... Ah, there we go. That's a good one, isn't it? We've done quite well there. We'll put our torch up here. We'll put a spike trap. Uh, if I put a barrel here, we'll put a spike trap here and a torch. Put a floor trap here as well put a floor trap here as well. There we go. I'm not keen on two lanes. I feel like there's too much going on. The music is so good though. I really do appreciate the music. It reminds me, to be honest, of um, Halloween, the film. I really want to re-watch that this Halloween actually. I've, I've wanted to re-watch that for a while. But I saw, uh, it was on that show Gogglebox in the UK, so they were watching it, and it's a really good film, and it just made me really want to re-watch it again. I really like uh, The Shining as well, so I think I might actually end up re-watching The Shining today. Because I, I do love that film. I like the book, of course, as well, but the book and the film are very different. 
you've got like supernatural elements in the uh, film, whereas in the book it's less about. Oh no. It's less about the supernatural per se, it's more about the mental anguish felt by a character, which is kind of awful, really. Um, no, nope, couldn't handle that. Kind of awful, really. The main character has this emotional baggage from um, abuse as a child, I think it is. And it is, it's dark, it's very dark, and um, I think it works a lot better, to be honest than the whole supernatural spirits element because it's this whole idea of being haunted by your past which I think is very creepy um, come on come on yes there we go that's a bit better I think the issue is as well is we need to speed up these times we're, we're not doing well here I don't like the uh, there, yeah, we'll put this in. Hopefully that's a bit more damage. I don't like the multiple lanes. It freaks me out a little bit. It's too much micromanaging, you know? We need some kind of... The shooter here is... There isn't much point. Unless we put it here, actually. Again, I think the little items sometimes, I think they're in the way. So when there's like a candle on a wall and stuff like that, I tend to assume I can't build there, which is a problem. Now, once you realise you can, it's not so, oh god, it's not so bad, but... Oh, this isn't going well, this isn't going well, we need a... We need some kind of new trap. But they're all expensive now. It's all about Brexit. This could all easily be avoided if we just, you know, not left. What's this? Oh, are these the warlocks? That's right. Oh, no, I don't like that. What does that do? I'm going to put one of my things in. I don't like what they're doing. Doesn't make much... There's not much point now anyway, because it looks like they're going to kill us anyway, but... Yeah, take that, warlock. Is he healing them? Oh, what's going on? There's no need for that. No. There's no way, unfortunately. No. But anyway, let's head back. I'd just like to say thank you so much for listening, everyone. This has been Rats, Bats and Bones. Yeah, really fun, actually, for the price. Really enjoyable. Lots to do. Really enjoyed it. So if you're looking for something this Halloween that's quite relaxing, quite therapeutic, and also kind of eerie, give it a go. I'm definitely going to give it a go and play a bit more of it as well. It just seems very, very fun. Anyway, though, thank you very much for tuning in, everyone. My name's Nick from nextstepnick.com. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this if you have enjoyed this video. And also, please head over to nextstepnick.com for all your latest articles, news, and reviews. Thank you very much, and goodbye.